All right, I just need to know where it came from. It's gotta be airtight. Okay. I was at a wine tasting with my cousin Ernesto, which was mainly reds, and, and you know I don't like reds, man. You know, but there was a rosé that saved the day. It was delightful. And he tells me about this girl, Emily, that we used to kick it with. It was actually the first pair of boobs that I ever touched. It's the wrong details. It's the wrong... It has nothing to do with the story. Go. So, uh, he tells me that she's working as a housekeeper now, right? And she's dating this dude, Carlos, who's a shot caller from across the bay. And she tells him about the dude that she's cleaning for, right? That he's like this big shot CEO that is all retired now, but is loaded. And so Carlos and Ernesto are on the same softball team. And they get to talking, right? And here comes the good part. Carlos says, yo, man, this guy's got a big ass safe just sitting in the basement, just chilling. Of course, Ernesto comes to me because he knows I got mad demons killed. Of course, I ask him, did Emily tell Carlos to tell you to get to me what kind of safe it was? And he says, nah, dog. All she said is that it's like super legit and whatever's in it, it's gotta be good. What? Old man, have. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Just give me the facts. Mm -hmm. Just the facts. Only the facts. Breathe, focus. Keep it simple. No, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Okay, so I'm at this art museum with my cousin Ignacio, right? And there was this like abstract expressionism exhibit. But you know me, I'm more like a neo cubist kind of guy, right? But there was this one Rothko that was sublime, bro. Oh my God. Luis. You know, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I just, you know, uh, I just get excited and stuff. But anyway, anyway, and Ignacio tells me, yo, I met this crazy fine writer chick at the spot last night. Like, fine, fine, like crazy, stupid, fine. And he goes up to the bartender and goes, look at the girl I'm with. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy, stupid, fine, right? And the bartenders are all like, yeah, crazy, stupid, fine. So this writer chick tells Ignacio, yo, I'm like a boss in the world of guerrilla journalism, and I got mad connects with the peeps behind the curtains, you know what I'm saying? Ignacio's like, for real? And she's like, yeah. You know what? I can't tell you who my contact is because he works with the Avengers. Oh, no. Yeah, and this dude sounds like a badass, man. Like, he comes up to him and says, yo, I'm looking for this dude who's new on the scene, who's, like, flashing this fresh tack, who's got, like, bomb moves, right? Who you got? She's like, well, we got everything nowadays. We got a guy who jumps. We got a guy who swings. We got a guy who crawls up the walls. You got to be more specific. And he's like, I'm looking for a guy that shrinks. And I'm like, damn, I got all nervous because I keep mad secrets for you, bro. So I asked Ignacio, is it the badass to tell the stupefied writer chick to tell you to tell me because I'm tight with that man that he's looking for him? And? What'd he say? He said yes. You know what? You're right. This isn't truth serum. Because I don't feel anything. That was a lie. I did feel something. This is truth serum. There's no such thing. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, I'm gonna make this real easy for you, Luis. Okay. Where is Scott Lang? Well, see, that's complicated. Because when I first met Scotty, he was in a bad place. And I'm not talking about Cell Black D. His wife had just filed for divorce. And I was like, damn, homie, she dumped him when you're on lockup? And he was like, yeah, I know. I thought I was gonna be with her forever. But now I'm all alone. And I was like, damn, homie, you know what? You gotta chin up, because you'll find a new partner. But you know what? I'm Luis. And he says, you know what? I'm Scotty, and we're gonna be best friends. Okay, hold on, hold on. I like a good story as much as the next person, but what in the hell does this have to do with where Scott Lang is? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You put a damn in him, you gotta let the whole song play out. Yeah, he's like human jukebox. Oh, my abuelita had a jukebox in the restaurant. Yeah, only played Morrissey. And if anybody ever complained, she'd be like, oh, no te gusta más? You know, Chicanos, we call them más. Then adios. Uh, what can I say? You know, we relate to his melancholy ballads, you know? Lang. Right, 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 right. So anyway, this guy gets out of jail and he starts working for Hank. That's when he met Hope. And Hope's all like, I want nothing to do with you. Look at my hair, dude. I'm all business. And then Scotty's like, you know what, girl? My heart is all broken and I'll probably never find love again. But damn if I want to kiss you. But then you fast forward and they're all like into each other, right? And then Scotty's like, you know what? I can't tell you this, but I'm going to go trash an airport for Captain America. And then she said, I can't believe you split like that. Smell you later, dummy. So Scotty goes on house arrest and he won't admit it. But his heart is all like, damn, I thought Hope could have been my new true partner, but I blew it. But fate brought him back together and then Hope's heart is all I'm worried that I can't trust him and he's gonna screw up again and ruin everything and then my heart is all like that fancy raspberry filling represents the company's red and we're days away from going out of business oh out of business days away damn truth to him and you know I, I was trying to protect you guys I swear to god you know I was trying to be a good boss but we're broke and the carpet is our last hope and if we don't show up we're done that's terrible bossing damn bro that's on me that's on me hey Where is Scott Lang? I've been trying to tell you. He's in a tricky spot, emotionally speaking. Emotionally speaking? Well, where?
Where is Scott Lang? Literally speaking. Oh, the woods. The woods? <laughs> what do you mean, the woods? The Muir Woods, the second fire road off the Panoramic Highway. Sink. Oh, oh. Mother Yaga, come at night with the children's.